What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. We have a holiday special, so to speak. Now, before I get into the actual video, I would just like to take uh, a few moments to say thank you. Because of your support, because of you watching my videos, as the, supporting me both on Patreon and my website, uh, you have helped me to get to this point. And that kind of gets us into the actual video video. Uh, I'm so thankful because I'm, well, here. And you may be thinking, well, what is this? Well, this is actually my new apartment. I'm actually moving in this place uh, starting from next year, probably in March, because as you can see, it's quite empty, both from the background as well as the echo. And I'm sorry for that. Uh, there's no way to fix that. Uh, so anyways, uh, starting from next year, I'm going to be moving into this place and uh, why this change is important not only for me but for you guys is because finally in this place I'm going to have a chance to have my own studio office inside of my apartment. It's going to be a dedicated room which I'm going to be designing and furnishing just specifically for recording these videos. So I think the quality of the channel is going to go up a lot starting from next year again as i said probably march to april when i get the whole everything ready uh, but yeah that is the big news so uh, after a while uh, i was uh, living in the city and then uh, both my girlfriend and i decided that we want to get a bigger place so we moved just a little bit outside of the city but that allowed us to get a larger space where we can have our own little offices and work areas inside of the apartment. Uh, now, also what I think is going to be really exciting is uh, this is going to be a project that's, well, because I'm the client and I have to furnish and design this whole interior space, uh, well, I can take you through the whole journey of going step by step and showing you uh, each step in the process of uh, designing and furnishing an apartment. And I think that could be interesting. And of course, obviously, I'm going to be using Revit for each step of the way. And I'm going to be figuring out little tips and tricks on how to use Revit in order to work on an actual project where you have to pick out the materials, the tiling, the, the furniture, and how to design every single little detail for uh, designing your apartment. So I think that will be some interesting series uh, for uh, the channel and then the end result of that is going to be well an improved uh, set for filming these videos. So I think that's going to be really really exciting. So uh, once again I'm really thankful. Uh, without you this would definitely not have been possible. So I, I don't know how, how to say how grateful I am for all, everybody's support during the years, both just as a subscriber or if you're a member on my Patreon or my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And now, of course, we're going to be jumping into Revit and I'm going to be showing you, because if you, of course I have already drawn the, this whole place in Revit and I have some design ideas, so I'm going to be sharing that with you. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So, this is what I have already modeled in, in Revit, as you can see. I've done quite a bit of work. Uh, I've went to a, a few phases of the of design and kind of had a, a few ideas. So now I'm just going to be going through uh, uh, what just how the whole apartment looks and what are some of my ideas and uh, just what's my plan uh, to do. So if I just go here to level one floor plan, just to introduce you to the floor plan, here we have the entrance to the to the apartment. Uh, here we have a little kind of area and um, a little uh, built in uh, storage unit or something like that. So just, uh, just a sliding door in front where you can leave your coats and shoes and so on. Uh, next here, it's going to be the dining area uh, or the dining part of the whole living room. Uh, it's going to go up against this wall, I think that's the best option. I was thinking about uh, moving everything uh, just perhaps one meter uh, in front, so something like that, and then I don't know what this is. So anyways, I was thinking about something like this, so you can kind of go through here, go to the kitchen, uh, but then the whole I don't know, the whole thing looks a bit off. So in, in the end, I've decided to just stick with this design. So anyways, the kitchen is going to be here. It's an L-shaped kitchen. And plus here, we're going to have some additional storage with some shelves above that and so on. 
Uh, this is the refrigerator. It's this going to be a little bit tricky because I think if I just go here to the yeah fine level of detail, uh, when you open up the door of the fridge, it's going to kind of be blocking up this way. Uh, but just due to all of the installations and everything that's been set up in the walls, uh, this is the only place where I can fit the fridge either here or here. But then that doesn't get the water supply, which uh, I can need. So uh, because of that, I guess it's going to have to be here, and then uh, I, I we're going to have to be careful when it comes to opening this uh, fridge door. Uh, anyways, let's go back to course. Uh, so here is the living room. This is where I filmed uh, the intro to this video. So I was uh, here where this table is and then the camera was pointing in this direction here. So here I want to have like a large living room with this giant sofa. I really like that like an uh, L or J shaped sofa. And because the television and everything else is going to be over here in this area. And then here it's going to be just an additional big uh, lounge chair, comfortable lounge chair. And this is going to be kind of the infotainment center or uh, just a little shelf. And above that is going to be the television set. Uh, now, if I go here to the 3D view, let me show you. There we go. So this is that sofa. Now, I've designed this sofa myself. Uh, I got inspired by some Italian designs that I saw, and then I've kind of built it from there. Uh, I was thinking about having this kind of shelf over here in the sofa and having like the, the, the coffee table built into the sofa itself. So here you can place drinks and here so this kind of acts in as a coffee table as well as this shelf behind that. Uh, and this is just a went for the radiator. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the idea for the sofa. I don't need too much sitting uh, area so uh, so uh, this was kind of the, the the idea and then here uh, just horizontal shelf now uh, this is just something I was testing out this is the shelf I thought I would be using uh, but now when I think about it it's uh, just uh, this type of a shelf uh, from some nice wood is way too expensive so I think I'm just going to have kind of a uh, really long built-in uh, shelf that goes from wall to wall and then somehow I want to figure out how to uh, insert some speakers into that. That would be pretty cool. Anyways, then we have a wall hosted TV here. And then uh, here I want to have like uh, one of those kind of fake fireplaces. Well, it's not fake, but it doesn't really use wood or anything. It uses some uh, bioethanol or something like that. It just looks nice. It isn't really a fireplace, uh, but it kind of uh, mimics one. So I thought that would be cool. It doesn't require a chimney, so that's 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 good because I, I don't have one. Uh, so <laughs> I was thinking about inserting that uh, here, uh, and then the rest of this is going to be this just big shelf for the shelf for books and all of that. And, and then in this area, I would like to have some sort of a fake grass on the on the on the wall I like plants I like kind of having uh, some greenery inside of the apartment but uh, I don't like to have too many plants and of course uh, they keep dying on me because I'm not that good with plants so I thought why not have a fake plant wall uh, and then I could have some additional plants here and there I think that would look nice here you can see that the, the dining area, so just a, a few chairs. Uh, I was thinking of having these a bit larger, comfortable chairs, and then having four instead of six, and also having one of these kind of uh, live edge tables. Those look really cool. So, yeah, that's the idea behind. Uh, behind that. Now moving on to the rest of the apartment and let me go back to the floor plan view. Now here we have a big door that leads into a hallway and this is kind of the sleeping area of uh, of the apartment. Uh, now because I'm going to be living here with my girlfriend uh, and we both have our own kind of freelance slash businesses where we both work from home, uh, we, we decided to have uh, one office for each. So this is going to be my office over here. Here. This is going to be the bedroom that leads to a uh, large balcony, so that's nice. And it has this big window, so which is open to that balcony, which I really like. And then, or a big sliding door. And then this uh, room here is going to be my girlfriend's office, and she is actually a fitness uh, YouTuber, so she needs uh, this big area here for filming videos. And then I'm just going to have one piece of gym equipment, just like a squat rack, where I can do all of my exercises. So uh, it's going to double in as a home gym slash her. Uh, uh, recording area and office. So 
uh, we just wanted to design this apartment to be both our off both offices for her and me and then uh, also like our our regular apartment so it, it works better than having them separate i think it's at least it saves on the commute uh anyways so here uh and also here we have the the big uh, bathroom and then this is a little toilet that's also going to uh, double as a laundry uh, so the idea behind uh, this toilet here so it doesn't have a sliding door as I have over here currently at, uh, at the moment we have just like a simple uh, door that's over here uh, now I, I don't like that because I want to fit in uh, the washing machine and dryer there so I thought why not move the door here and then instead of having this door, which will kind of, when you open it up, block the, the, the washing machine, why not have a sliding door there? So I'm not really sure um, how that works with sliding doors, but that's something that I'll have to figure out for this. And then I'll, I'll report back here on YouTube. So yeah, so this is just going to be a sliding door here, just a washing machine and a dryer. And then this is just going to be some shelving for, for all of the dirty clothes. And then here we have a simple sink. Uh, and this is the, the toilet and yeah that's pretty much it uh, now here for this bathroom it has this shower over here now I was thinking of getting rid of this shower and kind of playing around and having the sink there and then that big kind of bathtub here it turns out way too expensive and also way too much work and it would take way too long so uh, in the end uh, we decided to go for and just leave this shower here I'm probably going to be modifying it I, I, I like to have that those showers that are kind of flat with the kind of the, the tiles in the floor uh, and yeah uh, just uh, there is supposed to go a new sink over here and then this is just going to be the regular bathroom so this is pretty much already built but uh, there will have to be some work done as far as changing the shower the sink and maybe some tiles uh, and moving forward to my office here I'm just going to have some shelving so if I just go to the 3d view yeah, so my office is this thing over here. So this is just some big IKEA shelf where I can just uh, store all of my documentation and uh, all of that, just all the paperwork, uh, the bills, the, the, the business stuff. So I have just a bunch of paperwork which I have to store somewhere. So this is going to be for that. And then also here you can notice some lines. So I was playing around with the lens and camera setup that I'm going to be using. So this is per perfectly fit. So I'm going to have my table here. Let me just try to find that component if I only can. Yeah, uh, let's go with, this is a table, where's the desk? Okay, here we go, a desk. So it's probably going to be something like this and then I want to keep it here at the angle now it's either just going to be a regular desk like this or I'm going to find an L-shaped desk but anyways uh, so here I can kind of sit here and record my videos and I'm going to organize a nice little background for those videos so this is just me testing out the the, the, the focal length of the camera and the, the, uh, the, the lens just to figure out if everything is going to uh, work uh, when it comes to that and then probably here I'm just going to have a bunch more shelves because you, you can never have too many shelves when it comes to your office and then this is just going to be my regular computer setup here moving forward this is the ba bedroom uh, now it already has this big built-in storage uh, as well as the, the hallway here so we're just going to be leaving all of that in because it's well it's perfect no need to change that and then just a nice regular bed here and it leads to the balcony and yeah that's pretty much it perhaps a chair here or something I don't know so that's the idea for that so this room doesn't really change much and then this is going to be the uh, my girlfriend's office slash recording studio slash gym so uh, the recording area is going to be over here because she can do all of her exercises here and record everything and then the gym equipment uh, will go over here and as I said just a simple squat rack I think you can do all of the exercises there if you've never been to the gym you probably have no idea what I'm talking about if you have you probably are like oh cool a squat rack so anyways so I just want to have that, that there so I can do you know, like bench press squats pull-ups just all the regular basic exercises uh, unfortunately no deadlifts because there are neighbors below so that's that that would be a problem 
Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's the general design. If I just go here to the 3D view, this is what that looks like. I've already started playing around here with the uh, the tiles for the bathroom, as you can see, but I'm going to be explaining that in another video, how to kind of find tiles online and then uh, bring them into Revit. Here, perhaps some green tiles for this, just sort of as an accent. And then here for this small bathroom, as you can see, there is just uh, the washer and dryer, some storage, and then for the sink and mirror, it's just going to look like that. And then it extends up to here so you can store your like toilet paper and stuff there. And then it's just the same story in this uh, area here. So just a simple shelf with a built on sink and a mirror and yeah that's that's pretty much it so there you go that's the that's the apartment uh, that's just the general layout i'm really really excited and also i'm quite afraid because this has to be done in the next couple of months because my lease here uh in this place where i'm living right now runs out uh, runs out by that time so this really has to be done uh, by then so that's going to be really fun and nerve-wracking so there you go uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to this apartment okay and that's pretty much it for this video i hope you have enjoyed it and i hope you're excited as i am about the new videos that are to come of uh, just designing this whole place and i'm actually thinking about taking you through the whole process of how i'm going to be interacting with the builders and uh, everybody that has to be involved in the whole process of furbishing and fixing up this place so I think that's going to be really exciting. Also one more thing I'm going to be taking a little break obviously for the holidays so the last year of December and then uh, probably a couple of weeks in January I'm going to be taking some time off so I won't be uh, uploading videos. Uh, I'm going to be I'm going to try to be as as good as possible when it comes to responding for our messages, especially on Patreon and on uh, my website. So if you have messages and you send it to me, uh, I'll try to respond as soon as possible. But the videos are going to be taking just a little pause uh, until somewhere around mid-January and then we're going to be starting off next year stronger than ever. So thank you again for all of your support. I wish you all happy holidays and I'm guessing I'm going to be seeing you next year. Have a nice day and enjoy the holidays.